the first step we need to set up the page give those dimension and click on create now from the toolbar select this text tool and reduce the text size from here and write the logo title and the tagline here now drag it by pressing alt key and make a duplicate and now edit the text now drag it down and make the text a little bit smaller in size and place it here and this one also bring at the center now select both and from here change the font now bring this one at the down of the title now take this pen tool and draw a shape here of the house so by pressing shift key you can draw a straight line here similarly by pressing shift key draw the straight lines now let's fill the line with the stroke color so from here you can choose the stroke color and uh, let us increase the thickness of the line so from here you can change the value and make it thicker and for preview i am clicking uh, here so let me increase more now it is fine so now let uh, flip this one and now by a using arrow key take it towards the left hand side and place it perfectly so to make the shape uniform we need to flip it so that both sides should be uniform and looks good and here also draw the lines by using this pen tool and fill the stroke color increase the stroke size from here and take it a little bit upward by using arrow key and by using this corner point tool you can fix it so select this corner uh, corner and by using arrow key just fix it now take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle now fill this rectangle with color and here also draw another rectangle this will be the window of the house and fill this rectangle with color and here give some corner so we'll give brown corner here now take a rectangular tool once again and draw a small rectangle here and fill this with color now let's zoom in and place this rectangle at the center now by pressing alt key drag it and make duplicate and rotate it and place it here now select two objects by pressing shift key and from here do minus front and here also subtract it and bring at the center here and drag it and make the size a little bit bigger and by arrow key take it a little bit down and place it perfectly now uh, take this one here by shift key you can manipulate the size of the rectangle now it is fine so from here 
draw a shape so that we can uh, subtract some some areas which is not important and change the color now draw a rectangle here and fill this with color now select them all and rasterize all the layers do right click on your mouse and rasterize it so after rasterizing uh, select this one and now select this down object and press delete key and now control D and remove the selection and delete this similarly here also draw a rectangle and fill this with color remove the opacity of the rectangle so that we can see the background elements and now select this one and take it down place it perfectly so now it is fine uh, first we need to rasterize the layer and uh, do the quick selection now select this lower object and press delete key now control D and remove the selection and delete this object now select them and take it towards left hand side by using arrow key and uh, here also draw a rectangle and fill this with color so the, this much uh, <clears throat> the outer area we need to delete so select this press delete key control D and delete this and here extend this line by using this rectangular tool and fill this with color now take this ellipse tool by pressing shift key draw a, draw a circle here and uh, here give the stroke color and increase the stroke of the circle so drag it uh, and uh, mo move the circle and place it perfectly and here draw a rectangle so fill this rectangle with color and one side of the rectangle we need the curve shape so here give some values and make the top curve now rotate it and place inside the circle so this this much is fine now by using pen tool uh, here make a boundary and we need to erase uh, some extended areas here so do subtract and now by using pen tool here draw the shape and fill them with color so similarly by using pen tool uh, keep on drawing those shapes and this using answer point tool you can fix the shape and from here draw another shape So by using Alt key, you can handle uh, you can handle this curve. So keep on drawing until we complete this shape. So every time uh, you need to manipulate the handle by using Alt key and now fill the shape with color and here draw a rectangle 
because we need to erase uh, some parts here and fill this with color. Now rasterize it. Use quick selection tool. So after selecting, select this object, press delete key. Now control D and delete it. So select this one. Similarly use quick selection tool. And now we need to expand it. Give some value. Now select this object and press delete key, control D. So we made a gap here. Now take the polygon tool because we need to draw a star and for a star we will give uh, four corners here. Select a star, click OK and fill this star with color and bring it at the top and drag it down and make the size a little bit smaller. By using arrow key just uh, place it on the perfect place. Now drag it by pressing Alt key and make duplicates and place it. So every time when you need to make a duplicate, just drag it by pressing Alt key. So make few more duplicates. Now let's choose the color from here and select this and take color picker tool and click over this and change the color. So similarly, uh, keep changing all the colors here. Now change the color again and use two other objects. So here I'm doing it firstly because you know how to change the color. By using Alt key, pick the color and change it. Now remove this background, select them and group it. Now open the mockup file. If you don't have the mockup file, check the description. You will uh, get the download link. And double click on the top layer of the mockup. Now drag our transparent logo over the mockup file. Click OK and drag it and make the size little bit bigger and place it perfectly at the center to get the better result. Now mark it, unmark the mockup background, close the tab and click on the original mockup tab. And here you, you can see once process, uh, you'll get the result. Hope it helps you. You'll learn how to make the logo and how to convert it into 3D. If you like this tutorial, you can subscribe our channel and get the latest updates. Thank you.